bodybuilding is a grind. Doing a show is a grind. If you bodybuild and you've never done a show, you are a gym rat. <laughs> For lack of a better term. You're not a bodybuilder until you do a show. Sorry if that offends anyone. But I meet so many people that say they're bodybuilders, but they've never done a show. You might bodybuild, kind of, but part of bodybuilding is getting into a show or getting super shredded and comparing yourself to the next person. come into a flex. That's what I want you to try. Good. Right now you set up with the dumbbells and laying down. Just don't be that guy that throws dumbbells. A skull crusher. I kind of want you to flare back. See how I'm like going backwards? Keeps the tension on the tricep. It's really way harder. You're naturally gonna wanna do this. See the difference? Come back. Five. Go a little bit more at your forehead. Six. Keep on coming back like, just like that. That was good. I'm gonna put some cheaper foods on there for you, so it's not gonna break your bank, but it's gonna be effective. But when you're trying to gain, you don't want hard to digest foods, high fiber, asparagus, green beans, stuff. I'm not gonna put a ton of vegetables on there because for one, those aren't high calorie. For two, they stick with you a long time and you're gonna have a hard time force feeding yourself if I'm filling you full of green beans every two hours. Easy to digest foods are a really good way to gain weight for you, you know, grains, breads, uh, some sh sugary stuff, some good healthy fats in there, throwing in with some saturated fats along the way too. But it'll just be an array of stuff, but I'm gonna try to make it cheaper foods. A lot of it's gonna be good tasting stuff. Like I said, let me know if there's something you don't like or don't wanna eat, because I don't want you to eat something you don't <laughs> eat. Everyone has something they don't like, you know? Fruit's easy to digest, sugary. Now it's not the highest calorie, it's not dense in calories, but probably do a lot of fruit. Because you can eat a lot of fruit if anyone can. So we'll do that too. So I don't want to put all junk in your diet because, you know, the saying you are what you eat, kind of true. You know, like, I don't want you to feel like crap. If I just give you pizza, Pop Tarts, <laughs> and that's it. Your age, you might be fine, but for someone in their 30s, they're going to feel like crap. Well, that might happen to you too. So you're going to have, you know, good stuff in there too. Fruit, stuff that makes you energetic and feel good. You can't force people to succeed. Yeah. You can't force people to get motivated. You can't put motivation in people. They gotta put themselves. They're, they're not motivated, it's hard. That's the worst part about personal training is you can't, everyone that comes to you, only half of them are serious. They think they're serious at first and they're not. The reason that is is because you're gonna, you're gonna respond really fast and well anyway. Before you contacted me, you hadn't really been working out, had you? You're gonna you're gonna grow fast. You're gonna respond fast at first. So 
For example, me and her, we started our diet four months ago. We had carbs, rice, fruits, everything in there, kind of like I do with you right now. We wanted to lose more fat and more fat and more fat. If I would have started us out with no fruit, no rice, no carbs, and I would have started us that way, I would have had nowhere to go once we stalled. Like, nowhere to turn. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so what workouts have you done? Which two? So the first thing was military press on there, which is basically, uh, if it's not dumbbell military press, it'll be barbell military press. It'll make a world of difference, and it's cheap. I mean, I, I wouldn't call it cheap, but it's not that expensive either. It's like 20 bucks every two months or something. It, it works. Good. Good job. Please. And don't come up too high. I come up about shoulder height. Nine, good job. One more. And I've always done it after. The reason I do it after is because I've always loved weightlifting and I want to be as strong as I can when I'm in there. And I feel like after getting my heart rate up and running, I'm not as strong. That was a little rough. All right, man. Nice meeting, nice meeting you. Appreciate nice meeting you. Thank you. See you guys. Just when they're doing things right, doesn't mean you should be quiet. It means yeah. you should tell them they're doing it right. It's encouraging, you know. Like, oh, I'm doing this right. If you don't say anything at all and they're doing everything right, but then you talk only when they're doing something wrong, no one likes that. Like, yeah. no one wants that drill sergeant training. <laughs> when I'm training people, like, my philosophy is to yeah. encourage them, let them know when they're doing things right, show them they're doing things wrong. Look at these. She's gonna do good. Look how cute those are. Whoa. No more cramping for Drew. Well, he has big muscles. She goes, yeah, but he's not big. I'm not big? Yeah. How do you make this, Jen? Just protein, peanut butter, and water. <laughs> That's it. You want to come take a nap, Lil? This air mattress is the best thing I invested my money in this year. Oh, this is awesome. Hey, Jenny, you guys can go to the pool on that. <laughs> hey, look at this. Hey, look. What is Drew doing right now? He's going to sleep. What is he sleeping for? I don't know. <coughs> He's tired? I think so. Can I take a picture of me or Mama? Both. <laughs> <laughs> this is for like a whole week? Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Seems like it never lasts long enough. Soon. This soon? Mm hmm. Two minutes? Two minutes. Two minutes you're going to lay down? Mm hmm. What? Two minutes you're going to lay down on this? I'm already laying down. Two minutes you're going to lay on this air mattress? Hmm. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mom, Drew's here is late. You got to be safe. You woke me up because you got up and it was just like whoosh. Whoa, whoa. Drew was weighing it down and kept a, me up. Is that a fat joke? Yeah. You know, I've been prepping since March 1st. If you do the math, today's June, June 10th. So I've been prepping for like 16-ish weeks, I think. Something like that. And um, by the time you get to this low, this low body fat, the sacrifices you have to make to keep going just starts to drain on you really bad. Um, I'm doing this prep with Jen, so I'm doing a prep very first time with somebody, you know, living in the same house. And she's, it's weird because it hit us about at the same time. In fact, I bought this air mattress just because I wanted to come home and take a nap every day. And I don't fit on my couch very good anymore. 
So I do. I take a nap every day because I get up at 4 a.m. to do cardio. I work 45-minute commute to my work. By the time I almost fall asleep coming home sometimes, I have to call Jen to stay awake on the, on the road because I'm just so physically drained from the diet, the cardio, the training. And, you know, I used to get eight hours of sleep a night. I probably get four now, four or five, usually four. It takes a toll on you. And Jen's been taking more naps as well. And she kind of <coughs> understands what I went through last year more now that she's doing it with me. And she keeps saying that. She, she kind of compares it to being pregnant, which I found kind of interesting but um you know you get hangry is what they call it hungry angry um irritable edgy it's it's typical when you're six weeks out four weeks out three weeks out two weeks out <coughs> anytime when you get this close it, you just you're drained you're more on edge you're you're just tired is the best way to describe it but um it makes it all worth it in the end you know you know there's a fine line in the diet where you feel better and then all of a sudden you don't feel better. Like I felt like more energetic, more alive because I lost so much of that fat. It's healthy for you. But then when you keep trying to take it to get prepared for a show, get that low body fat, there's a fine line where you start feeling great to where it starts backtracking. And yes, you're getting leaner and you're getting, you're losing more body fat, but you're also making the sacrifices, staying up later to where you can't, uh, it's, it's not, a point of I feel healthier and better now it's I feel more drained and exhausted now so that's kind of where we're at in this prep I came and lay down after training some people this morning and then you know it's like noon and I couldn't stay awake I took a 30 minute nap so I did that every day this week just about except for yesterday we had posing practice after work slept until 6 30 this morning on a Saturday so that that was a couple hours more than usual that was nice we both, we do a little bit of slow, steady state cardio, but now that I wanted to trim us up even more, these past few weeks, we've been getting up at 4 a.m. and doing high intensity interval training before work. And I do it on a bicycle outside with no treadmill, no elliptical. She goes and does uses a treadmill, or she'll run for like 45 seconds, walk for a minute, 15 seconds, run for 45 seconds, walk for a minute and 15 seconds. You know, there's no there's no certain way to do HIT training like she's doing. And you can do it in 10, 15 second intervals. You can do it in 45 second intervals. And there's no certain amount of time that you need to rest either. It's just whenever you feel like you can go again. I incorporated HIT training into our cardio before work to give us a new, a new element to our prep to make changes. Because if I just would have added 20 minutes of steady state cardio to what we were doing it might have worked but sometimes adding a whole new element shocks your body and makes more drastic changes and works quicker you know there's several scientific studies that say high intensity interval training is the fastest way to burn fat and the most effective way to keep muscle tissue while burning fat rapidly and i agree with it i use slow slow steady state cardio too though because for one it's a little easier and two it's just nice to it's nice to do both it keeps me from getting bored i mean steady state cardio can be boring but i do it outside i walk around the block fast it's nice to do a little bit of everything when you're prepping to so you don't get burnt out and these next few weeks we're gonna you know try to tighten it up even more i don't know how but i'll figure something out because she's not quite ready yet i've got a little few more pounds to lose as well women always have a harder time losing um you know their lower section of their body has a hard time tightening up and losing all its fat around their glutes and their lower abdomen and their thighs always have a hard time leaning up compared to men jen's fighting that right now but this week she did high intensity interval training all week before work and it made a noticeable change in seven days so i imagine the next 40 days which is all about how long we have till the show that it's going to make even better more changes just as long as she's consistent and she keeps working hard she'll be ready she went to a posing class yesterday and killed it you know, the more we pose and tighten up our bodies and practice posing, that's another form of conditioning in itself that you have to be prepared for, and that helps tighten you up as well. So it's a grind. Bodybuilding's a grind. And doing a show is a grind. If you bodybuild and you've never done a show, you are a gym rat, <laughs> for lack of a better term. You, uh, you're not a bodybuilder until you do a show. Sorry if that offends anyone, but I meet so many people that, 
say they're bodybuilders, but they've never done a show. You might body build, kind of, but part of bodybuilding is getting into a show or getting super shredded and comparing yourself to the next person. Today we are going to go have some fun with Lillian. We're going to go swim, take her to the public pool. That'll be fun. I'm sure Jen and I will get a few weird looks because we're in super good shape right now, but it's, that's good attention, not bad attention, <laughs> if there is such a thing. But, uh, you know, we're going to go have some fun and carb up a little bit tonight. We haven't had carbs in a week, so we have something to look forward to. And then we're going to kill legs tomorrow and hopefully do more cardio. And I love starting my week off on Sundays. I mean, most people start their week off on Monday and for the work week, but Sunday we start our diet over, we start training hard, and it, it sets us up for Monday through Friday, so... I only eat salad when I'm doing this. This is why I could never act, I could never be a bodybuilder in dream terms. <laughs> You're just a gym rat. Yep. He doesn't consider himself a bodybuilder though. There's 20 grams. I'm doing 30 grams. That's a serving. It's a lot of fat, but it's good fat. <laughs> There's his post on Instagram with an avocado. Olive oil and vinegar. And then once you have the oil on there, you can do a little bit more salt. The salt sticks to the oil. This is salt and vinegar. I want your pancake. Boom. Huh? Anything for flavor. I want that. When you're dying. No, 